just showing you guys that we're about to do a install on a Toyota Arion between the years of 2006 and 2011 is what our replacement head units will be. So I'll go ahead and do that for you guys now. Okay guys, so what you want to do first thing you need is the torque removal kits. You want to remove these vents up here. Okay guys, once you get your aircon vent out, what you want to do is you want to remove your hazard switch. Plug like that. Just sit back here. Plug and pull like that. Once you remove the vents, you're going to see some 10 mil sockets down there. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and remove those. Alright guys, next you want to thing you want to do is you want to remove your, uh, your ashtray. So what you're going to do is turn your car on, put foot on the brake, move your gear stick down, push on there, and just push that down, pull it out. And then what you want to come and do is put it back into gear, and you want to just pick it up here, take that one off, same as up here. Just get your plastic tool, just come to your kit, just pop it off like that. Jimmy, and they come off straight away. Okay, so taking that side off, I reveal two Phillips heads on either side. So you'll go ahead and uh, take those off. All right, once you've got that guy undone, guys, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take a shift knob, so just untwist it like that. The tools, and what you're gonna do is you wanna just pop open this softly to break it. So once you remove the whole unit, once you've done that, you can come remove your cigarette ashtray bit. Just put it back in down a bit so you can get it all out. You've got a couple of plugs back behind here as well. So obviously what you want to do is go remove those. Okay, so once you remove your cigarette light out, uh, your dim bit there, what you want to do is come out of here and there's two more 10 mil bolts which you want to remove. Okay, so that's what the back of your uh, factory head unit will look like and the sides. Okay, this is probably going to be the most, the most scariest part for most people. It's all your cables for your new unit. They're all simple, they're all plug and play. They can only go into the one uh, allocated spot the year after. Okay, so this is your video head unit, your front screen there. I'm sure all the buttons. And you got all the back there. And that's the back of it right there, so you see where your plug and play goes. Okay, so here we got your main harness. So you got your main 20 pin plug. It'll go straight into your 20 pin plug hole right there. It can only go in one way, it can only go once locked. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to grab your main harness and you want to match them up with all your original plugs. They can only go in one slot, so you're fine. Alright guys, what you want to do now, once you get all your wires all connected up, <coughs> grab your head unit, get your main plug, chuck it into the back of your 20 pin plug there, that one right there, your main plug, push that in as so, just uh, give it a fit in there for a minute, have a look, test, make sure everything all works. Once you've got your head units sitting in there, just switch on your car just to test the controls out, see if it all works, switch over to auxiliaries. It will take a couple minutes to load up for your first load, so that is normal guys. Alright guys, so yep, yeah, click on your phone. It'll ask you to pair, pair it away. You may have to connect Wi-Fi first. Double check that. All right, guys, the next thing you want to go do is set up steering control. So your settings, car infotainment, SWC. So what you want to do is you want to click on, obviously, your volume button to go up. And then on your steering wheel, same thing, up. And it will go blue to recognize. Same thing for, obviously, volume down and your skip buttons. All right guys, once you've got the head unit level tested out and whatnot, just unplug it and go and just get this extra bag of cables that you have in your kit, which comes with all the extra bits you need. So this one here is your gray plug for your camera in, so your wrist camera. So let's plug them in like that. And you've got your dual USB with your three, uh, your mic on it as well. Uh, you just got your CarPlay connection, same thing. Just, they all go in the one slots only, mate, guys. So just make sure you find the right one. So we've got this one here, which is your single USB one. That there is your factory USB for your cigarette lighter. And here we've got a 4G SIM card reader. So if you want to run a SIM card instead of WAF, use your hotspot, then use that one. All right, guys, next, next up is after you get all those plugged in, next up is your antenna. So I'll show you GPS. So what you do is it goes into this blue one just there, the green one, just push it down. And so you click in. And then here you got your 4G antenna, same thing. You see 4G, which is the purple one there, plug that in. And with your Wi Fi unit, they can basically just hang loose wherever behind the unit. That's no, not first at all. Alright, guys, now that you've tested it, what you're going to start doing is going to start putting it back together. You get your 10 more bolts that go back in there. Oh, Alright, guys, next, what you're going to do is you're going to take off, you should have done this before actually, you want to take off these bolts here to remove your aircon unit. 
so you can fit it to your new face here. All right, guys, to remove your original unit, you just have to push it, how it's sitting like that. You have to push it to the left. So you see how those grooves are going? So that's the unit sitting in. So it's just like that. New head, head units will have those little clips, which you just push into them. All right, there we go, guys. As you can see, I've got the aircon controls all back up on there, which is easy. So Get back underneath, normal. So we can go ahead do it. So we're starting with two 10 mil bolts that were back under here. Get the very back here. All right, guys, once you've got all that back in, your screws back in, don't put in your little uh, straight bit here. So all you do is remember, pull that, pull it back into gear, make sure your foot's on the brake, and then just slide it on down there. Don't forget those two plugs. Guys, once you got that back in, don't forget you get your screws which go in the little hole bits in there on both sides there. Just put them back in. All right, next we've got your center console. Now you fit, just slide that off over there. And just make sure your gear shifts out of the way, get down. 